Welcome back to Math for Game Developers and today we're going to be doing billboarding. What is billboarding? So this is our player and his, let, let's call this point right here E, this is his I position. And he is looking at a sprite that we're going to render here at P. P is the position of the sprite. And billboarding means that the sprite is going to be rendered on this two-dimensional flat square that always faces the player, right? So if the player wrote, like walks around the sprite, then the sprite will continue, that, that square will continue to always face exactly where the player is. And we're gonna look at how to do that. We have to come up with some vectors to, um, to figure out where these four corner points of this sprite will be these four corner points. So we know P minus E, we know the uh, forward vector, which I'm going to call F, okay? The vector that points to the sprite. And we also need a right vector. We need three vectors. A right vector and an up vector. Here's up. And with these three vectors, we can uh, find out what those four points are. So let's do it. We know what F is. F is pretty easy. F is just P minus E. So now let's find the right vector. The right vector is just the global up vector cross product with F. Note this is not the same as U right here because this up vector, this is the up vector for the sprite. It may not be the up vector for the entire game, which in this case is 0, 1, 0. But in other games it might be 0, 0, 1, but it's the global up vector. It should look something like this. So now let's find the up vector for the sprite. That, that is U, and that should be F crossed with R. Great, so now we have we have created these three vectors, and they're three very important vectors because they form what's called a basis, a basis. And a basis it has two definitions, it has two, it has two parts to its definitions. It has to fulfill two requirements. The first one is that they are all orthogonal to each other. And in truth, the actual mathematical definition is something slightly different. This is actually a little bit more strict than the true mathematical definition, but it works for our purposes, so we're going to use it. And it, orthogonal just means that all of the, the vectors are perpendicular to each other, which you can see that they are. And the second requirement is that they have to fill the entire space. And so what that means is that if... if if I, if I need a point here and I have these two vectors, okay, I can take two of the up vectors and three of the right vectors and that'll get me a vector that points to that point. And I can do that for any point in this entire space, which is pretty cool. And actually the mathematical term for that is span. These three vectors span all of 3D space. So pretty neat. Now let's find out how to create this sprite that we need. We need, to, we need to get these four outer corners right here. And the, we have these two vectors. We have an up vector and we have a right vector. Okay, so it's going to be pretty simple actually. The top right corner is going to be 1u plus 1r. And the top left one is going to be also 1u but minus 1r. See, because r points to the right, r points to the right. If we subtract it, we go to the left. The bottom right point is going to be r. We're going one to the right minus u because we're going one down. And then the bottom left point is going to be negative 1u plus negative 1r or minus u minus r. That gets us our four points. Now I want you to keep this basis stuff, let it brew in the back of your mind because it's going to be really important later. But for now we're just going to go into the game and implement this billboarding uh, and I'll see you there.
Here's our render billboard function. This is what we're going to use to render the billboard. And it takes a texture. This is going to be uh, whatever texture we want to render as our billboard. A radius, which is new, but it's nothing too complicated. We're just going to scale our up and right vectors by that radius so we can control the size of the billboard and sprite. And of course, the up and right vectors, which are our basis vectors that will give us the <clears throat> billboard that we want. So, this is where we render the two triangles which form a, a square that will be our billboard. And the way the graphics library wants them is we're going to start at the bottom left and we're going to go counterclockwise like this uh, around the, the square. So, starting in the bottom left, we're going to start with negative up minus right and then so counterclockwise so we're going to go to the bottom right so that's negative up plus right now we're going to go to the top right which is positive up plus positive up plus right and now to the top left which is positive up minus right Pretty simple, right? That's it. Now I'm not going to do the part where we use the cross products to derive these basis vectors because I've done that before and you can uh, preview the previous video on cross products to see that. But So we're going to just go straight into the game and see how it works. Cool, and these are our little monsters. How cute! And as you can see, no matter where I stand, the monsters are always facing me. Great! And our uh, intersection algorithm from one of the previous videos still works. So we can fire at these monsters now. In later videos, we'll make them charge the player or something. I don't know. I'm kind of making this game up as I go along. So, um, that's about it. Catch me next time, we'll do something else fun.